Namaste, Big Cat Fire Signs, Grand Rising. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 13th of October, Mercury enters Scorpio for approximately two and a half weeks. Mercury is in detriment in Scorpio. At the beginning of this transit, communication becomes more intense and people may dig deeper into your thoughts or you could feel more inclined to uncover hi hidden truths. The fixed star antes plays a role in sharpening your conversations, intensifying power struggles, especially in personal relationships. This can lead to transformative dialogues, but also clashes if you push too hard. Be careful not to let paranoia get the best of you. Sometimes it's best not to question everything at home or work. Avoid rushing into con confrontations. Use this time to uncover important information, but do so gently. <clears throat> this transit is excellent for research or investigating complex issues. If you need to resolve conflicts involving family secrets or shared finances, now's the time. On the 14th, the Sun in Libra squares Mars in Cancer. Mars is in fall in Cancer. This transit brings tension to your personal life from hidden enemies or people who are trying to disrupt your peaceful home environment. You may feel emotionally provoked, needing to protect your loved ones or the harmony of your life. Stay calm. If you feel the urge to react strongly, the fixed star Sirius emphasizes the need to, to fiercely defend your home, bringing a deep emotional intensity to confrontations. Be prepared to handle confrontations from others who may not have your best interest at heart. Family disputes could flare up. Remain level-headed and address any issues diplomatically to maintain the peace within your home. On the 15th, Venus in Scorpio trines Neptune in Pisces. Venus is exalted in Pisces, but powerful in Scorpio due to its transformative qualities. Ideal for deep emotional connections or creative endeavors. You may find yourself drawn to spiritual pursuits or connecting with a partner on a more soulful level. The fixed star former halt brings a magical, otherworldly feel, amplifying spiritual and emotional connections. If you're in a relationship, expect a bond to deepen. And if you're single, this is a great time for meeting someone with a spiritual or mysterious air. If you're working on an artistic project, this is the time to immerse yourself fully. Be cautious with finances. Neptune's influence can blur boundaries, making some opportunities seem more attractive than they are. On the 17th, Venus in Scorpio sextiles Pluto in Capricorn. Venus is strong in Scorpio and Pluto governs transformation and power in Capricorn. This transit promotes emotional connections and transformative experiences in your relationships. The fixed star Vega adds creative power, making this an ideal time for artistic pursuits and personal transformation. In relationships, expect a deepening of bonds and the uncovering of truths that can lead to emotional healing. Financially, this is a good time for strategic investments or structuring your long-term financial goals. The energy supports transformation and renewal. So embrace the chance for a fresh start. On the 18th, the moon in Taurus sextiles Saturn in Pisces. The moon is exalted in Taurus. 
This transit brings emotional stability and practical decision making. You may feel more grounded with a clear sense of responsibility towards yourself and others. The fixed star older brand adds the energy supporting loyalty, hard work and commitment to long term goals. This is an excellent day to focus on financial planning, organizing your home or nurturing your close relationships with patience and care. Take this time to strengthen your foundations, whether in business, family or personal life. On the 19th, the moon in Taurus trines Pluto in Capricorn. The moon is exalted in Taurus. Emotional tensity meets stability, making this an ideal time to focus on transforming your inner world or solidifying long-term goals. The fixed star Capella adds a nurturing, protective quality to this transit, encouraging you to invest time and energy into your personal growth or family life. Use this time to focus on emotional healing and personal transformation. You may feel more resilient and capable of tackling deeper issues that may have been lingering in the background. This transit supports changes in financial matters. Reorganize your budget, pay off debts or invest wisely. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Big Cat Wave. Namaste. Grand Rising Big Cat Fire Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or messages. Come in, come on, I've got intel, recon is afoot. Let's dive right in and unpack. You have the energy. Of a seven, darling dears. Seven is a highly spiritual number, darling dears. Mm -hmm. um, you could be a life path seven. Um, the number seven is ruled by um, the numbers seven, um, 18 and 25, as well as the letters G, P and Y, as well as the planet Neptune and Neptune rules Pisces and the letters O and Z. The number seven also rules the self node. So some kind of karmic past life or something from your early life, darling dear, some kind of karma that you are trying to overcome. The energy of Neptune warns you against what? Um, believe in your dreams, darling dears. Don't be um, delulu about any circumstance. This is about you going within, darling dears, seeking higher guidance. Mm -hmm. The energy of Neptune, yes, we know it's water energy. Um, it's highly spiritual, it's very mystic. You can also speak about somebody needing to release the, the jugs and the alcohols. Mm -hmm. It taps right into your psychic abilities, darling dears. Okay. The energy of the seven, according to the low shoe grid, is um, representative of the west, either something coming from the west or you going towards the west could be communication, darling dears, um, a letter, some form of intel, or maybe it's a relocation for you. Mm -hmm. It's also earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. So this is about your um, the material aspects of your life, your career, your finances, business and your possessions, as well as your health at this moment in time okay the energy of the seven tells me that you are a genius at this moment in time as i kept telling you bestie you are going for it you're highly highly intuitive very mystical mm -hmm. it also speaks about you being some kind of a seeker your luckiest numbers will be four five and seven as well as this numbers seven um 18 and 25 your luckiest days will be Tuesday, Friday and Saturday. Um, it's representative of a semi-sextile according to the astrological aspect. So this is an extremely um, healing plus transformative time for you. But don't allow yourself to be deluded by things are, that are not what real. High expectations of other people, things like that, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
It also speaks about you being extremely forgiving at this moment in time, darling. Do as well. It's best to forgive so you can get rid of all of that that heavy heavy energy that you're carrying, darling. Do as be more diplomatic. Mm -hmm. Lots of introspection, darling. Do as and it's giving you a new level of knowledge going forward. Okay. <coughs> the energy of the six um, is representative of somebody need, needing to have some form of doctor's visits medical centers um either you've got to go or it's some you accompanying somebody but it's also about taking a, a closer look at your health the energy of the sixth is the sixth house darling dears which is representative of your um of your daily routines darling dears your mental health um um, all sorts of jobs pertaining to health. Maybe you are a caring, a carer, a doctor, whatever, darling dears. But it also speaks about you looking at your physical sickness, looking at your health, darling dears, taking a closer look. And if you need to book an appointment for some kind of checkup, do it. We also have the energy of the one. The one is representative of you're going to have to make a major decision. This decision must not be made until after the next new moon. Okay. Um, the energy of the one is also representative of yourself, darling dears. Um, it's Mars, Aries energy, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Some of you will be stepping into a leadership role. It's also about somebody going forward and changing their appearance. Somebody's also delving back into their early environment, maybe to heal some kind of um, karmic wound going forward. Okay. <coughs> also be careful of any form of accidents over the next seven days. But the energy of the one tells you that you have to be standing up for yourself. We have the energy of the eight on top. The eight is representative of um, oh, Saturn energy, darling, dear. So rules and regulations. It's the father of time, darling, dear. Tight restrictions. Oh, with the energy of the seven, it's about something being lifted. Okay, lifted. The energy of the eighth is the eighth house. The eighth house is a highly spiritual house. It's a house of the occult. Um, astrology um it's the house of um joint finances um a business monies that are going to be paid to you darling dear so you definitely have some kind of money coming towards you over the next seven days okay the energy of the seven um according to the the 48 laws of power it tells you about allowing others to do the work for you and taking the credit i take that to mean in the sense of allowing others to if you outsource your work then others are doing the work and yes you're going to take the credit but you was the one that created the idea and put it out there into the hemisphere so yes you can do that mm -hmm. according to the rune stones the energy of the seven is representative of the lovers in tarot darling dears Mm -hmm. Lovers, Gemini energy, making the right choices, making right contacts and contracts. It also speaks about a soul, um, a fated meeting for some darling dears. Okay. Mm -hmm. The energy of the seven itself is representative of your warrior spirit, chariot energy. Again, moving forward with determination, highly spiritual, highly mystical darling dears. But it also speaks about achievements on every level, erasing your status over the next seven days okay let's press on let's press on let's get some outside energies and go with the black cards mm, the cycle is definitely broken eight house energy darling dears releasing what no longer serves you thank you yeah this is what you're on this week um pentacale's energy darling dears earth energy creating a new foundation new level of security for yourself energy of the seven you're using your knowledge and your wisdom genius mode energy of the eight money coming towards you darling dears this money could also represent building a foundation a new home possibly laying laying the groundwork the foundation for this new home or you acquiring a new home or redoing something within your home some form of redecoration changing things around darling dears the base of the deck you got haters there's all if this uh, if it wasn't for you, they wouldn't get up in the morning, darling dears. Hating on you. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you got the badass alchemist ways, the magician. Mm-hmm. This is air as well as mercury energy, darling dears. Yeah, having all of the tools. So again, it speaks about some form of travel. You're gonna definitely be doing travel over the next seven days. You may have um some kind of an issue. Again, the eighth house is a karmic house, darling dears to do with family or even your neighbors in the local community pertaining to some kind of security that you are creating for yourself the energy of the magician speaks about you having all of the tools um utilizing your communication skills um but the magician gives you what the manifestation mode mm -hmm. yeah this is about using your personal power to bring the visions that you want to co-create on this Malkuf into your life so the base of this deck something to do with your progeny over the next seven days split the deck you've got a progeny who's not grounded not living in the real world darling is maybe this is the person that's going on with the delulu this is on the table look discernment and intuition okay gonna have to use your discernment pertaining to a progeny over the next seven days the energy of the magician also speaks about beware of what someone trying to hoodwink you darling dears i told you you're coming into some form of money and you have to use discernment and your intuition because the magician can also represent a con person a hoodwinker a cut purse mm -hmm. okay let's see your outside oracle ancestral message darling dears good golly and gosh uncovering treasures darling dears yeah the deeper you go into the woods the more interest in the trees but you have to always remember darling dears you my darling dear big cat you're like an onion every time a layer comes off something deeper is is what born onto this malkuf energy of the seven something that's been guided mm -hmm. spiritually guided i love it i don't hate it you have the energy of of the chariot the 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 um, warrior within lots of control utilizing your your um, willpower but it's mo you moving with determination towards your success love it beneath the surface lies great bounty yes still waters run deep darling dears uncovering new treasures on the inside and you're walking a fine line remember i told you that lots of obstacles lots of clouds on the outside darling dears this is why it's telling you to tread carefully passion and pleasure this is you dancing to the beat of of the universe darling dears it's just like bob marley said some people just get wet in the rain while others they dance to the beat remember i told you that fist bump okay let's press on let's press on let's get your deck right let's look at your friendships first off the bat no relationships let's look at your relationships for the next seven days we've got the moon energy so somebody's about to be unmasked you a fake frenemy darling dears and again it speaks about deluding yourself about any form of situation that may come up knight of wands also speaks about messages coming in quickly yeah knight of wands is quite swift darling dears mm -hmm. yeah it could also represent some kind of a new person coming into your life. Um, um, def most definitely an unexpected meeting, darling dears. But it's about you trusting your, your vision. You've definitely got some good news coming to you after a bad phase. Moon energy, you've been facing your shadow side. And you've been extremely victor victorious again. More one's energy to support yourself. Yeah, you're getting a new status again, the chariot energy. New status, new job. You could be a business owner, whatever it is, darling dears. The hierophant is blessing this. This also speaks about somebody going into higher learning, either teaching or learning, but it's definitely formal training. This is about you being more you're more traditional with your how how you how you conduct yourself, darling dears. This is why you're being blessed at this moment in time. Good health, good luck, good everything. Again, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Love of yourself for some. This also speaks about somebody's going to be finding out that they're pregnant this week, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They've been waiting a long time for this baby. Yeah, definitely moving on from a situation. And it also speaks about moving on from a state of mind. Six of Swords. 
Yeah, single and independent. The Knight of Wands could also represent somebody who is extremely charming, darling dears. Mm-hmm. Someone who's charming who you are now single from. Yep. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're watching this person. Possibly someone wanted to come back. Mm-hmm. Like they're a Klingon. And this ain't Star Trek. No. What fell on the floor? Because it's coming through the door. We've got the Page of Cups. Somebody wanted to offer you some kind of a small apology. And again, it shows the pregnancy that's coming up. Long-awaited pregnancy, darling dears. Somebody wants to apologise over something that they did within a group. What did they do? Yeah. Bad things. <laughs> hey! Nine of Swords. They gossip. They talked about you. Talked about your everything, darling dears. It also speaks about someone deliberately trying to what? Bring a big cat down. Using um gossip and slander to try and keep you small. We've got the Knight of Swords on its face. This is confirmation, darling dears. Confirmation. Mm -hmm. This person or people are dictators. They're full of narcs, darling dears. Extremely um, abusive. If you've been involved with somebody whom you're now single from, darling dears, this was a absent father. Or even if they was there, you was the only, you was a single married parent. Or a single parent in a long-term relationship. That was your role in this situation. Leaving that situation behind. There's a lot of words being said about you at this moment in time. We the fortune, it's nothing to do with you. You're being blessed and highly favoured at this moment in time. This new perspective that you've taken on in your life. Mm -hmm. Your money looks good, darling dears. We've got the five of wands reminding you not to fight and argue with anyone. And because it's so close to the single, don't go and meet anybody single, darling dears. It's a fool's journey. Change your perspective. Why do they want to meet you privately by yourself in the dead of night? Listen, you'll end up on the side of a milk carton. Be solo dolo, darling dear. So you're balancing out your finances. And it also speaks about you having a level of emotional maturity this week. This is what's bringing you in alignment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, many would like to come back through, darling dears, but all they did was break your heart, slander, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. This is about you being in your bag, in your wallet, in your purse. King of Pentacles is somebody who could possibly be an entrepreneur, getting a getting a, um, a leadership position, moving up. You could also be going into some kind of healthcare. Mm -hmm. All of the Pentacles are coming up, darling dears. You could be going to be a civil engineer, an architect, a florist, a chef, a jeweler, but it's some kind of a change darling dears it could also represent something online something that you're changing darling dears is going to be fabulous gorgeous and lovely for you over the next seven days split the deck you're getting wish fulfillment remember i told you that but it's about you using your intuition and your discernment realizing that you have all of the tools darling dears this ain't the season to be effed over by a feeble-minded dummy bat remember i told you that don't allow them to come and shoplift anything from you darling dears final card yeah, Knight of Cups. Yeah, you have an, a charming offer coming towards you, and it also speaks about dating for some. Basically, the Queen of Pentacles is telling you to vet the, seri the situation seriously. Confirmation by the bell. Mm hmm. Hold on, let me go and get the door. I'm back. Yeah, release that burden. And it also, what? It's telling you as well. Yeah, somebody may offer you on a date. This is also taking out romance, dating, all of the above. Someone who's extremely charming vet this person properly you're going through a new phase in your life darling dears the archway speaks about an opening a new opportunity being admitted to something darling dears yeah you're very astute leaving those burdens behind yeah and it also speaks about leaving someone out in the cold because they was a fool in your eyes that's their business blood yeah what's this knight of swords no new um networking with whomsoever this person or people are letting it go final card yeah, this new perspective you have. And as we started to read, we're finishing it on Neptune, darling dears. Water energy. Mm -hmm. The hangman, darling dears. On his forehead. Yeah. Moving away from people that made you feel like you was stuck, darling dears. Like you you feel like you're in limbo. Mm -hmm. Okay. In a love situation, there was a lot of stagnancy, a lot of avoidance. Um, a lot of avoidance of crucial converse, conversations, darling dears. We're leaving all of that behind. You have the energy of the seven and the eight. And the eight. Okay, let's get a final card. And then we're out of here to get great. Let's go with 
animal totems. Final card for the fire signs for the next seven days. Final card, you've got Aries Moon, we just talked about Mars, your passion. Remain sensitive to others to avoid confrontations, darling dears. Use, use your diplomacy well. Remember I told you that. And you've come out to represent yourself, darling dears. Remember I told you that. On that note, I drops me mic. So I'd love to my Teespings, my Patreon, or my TikToks where I also upload videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll be notified when I'm coming through with some more astrological and tarot insights. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. Remember, you are on a narrow path, darling dears. Keep your eyes focused on your prize, what you want to create, okay? Because if you're focusing on, in, on someone else's lane, you'll go into the barrier, darling dears. Focus on your own path. It's guiding you towards what? In self-empowerment, confidence, darling dears. And what? A raise in your grade. Remember I told you that. Big cat wave. Until we meet again. On these tarot streets. Cat, cat. Cat, cat.